We're getting closer and closer to seeing Intel break ground on its two state-of-the-art semiconductor factories, or FABs. One concern that we've heard from a handful of area residents is what types of impacts these FABs might have on our natural environment. We get answers from Intel and the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency in this episode of New Albany Connects. Let's start with water. As a contract service community, the City of New Albany purchases its water from the City of Columbus. Our water comes from the water treatment plant on Morse Road, which gets its water from the Hoover Reservoir. Several years ago, New Albany upgraded its system in the business park to add approximately 16 million gallons of pumping capacity to our system to accommodate future growth. The City of New Albany will build additional infrastructure to reach the Intel site and serve it as needed. Water for initial construction of the Intel project will temporarily be drawn from the ground until early 2023 when ongoing operations can be supported by city water. Now, it's important to note that Intel plans to build a water reclamation facility on site, meaning they'll treat and recycle water for reuse or discharge it back to the municipal treatment facility. This is consistent with their two recent builds in Oregon and Arizona. For decades, Intel has been and continues to be a pioneer in environmental sustainability. Intel has a goal to be net positive for water by 2030, meaning that we return and restore more than 100% of the fresh water we withdraw to support our operations. Here in Arizona, we're returning and restoring more than 95% of the fresh water we withdraw based on our 2020 data. We're able to accomplish this thanks to investments like our on-site water treatment and reclamation facility, which treats water for reuse in the factory or other support systems, or it can be discharged back to the municipality for reuse there. To get to net positive water, we then fund projects outside of our operations to benefit the watersheds where we live and where we operate. Intel says its focus on achieving net positive water use is just one component of its 2030 sustainability strategy. That strategy also includes designing and constructing the Licking County site with green principles, achieving zero waste to landfills, and having the new Ohio fabs powered by 100% renewable energy. We're proud to say that today, our existing operations in the U.S. are powered by 100% renewable electricity. To reach that goal in Ohio, Intel will look to secure a portfolio of renewable and alternative energy investments, from on-site solar, to renewable initiatives and contracts with local utilities and renewable energy credits. We also use state-of-the-art equipment such as scrubbers, thermal oxidizers, and other technology to manage, reduce, and abate our air emissions, and have made significant investments to make our manufacturing processes more efficient in order to reduce our overall emissions. Some prep work is allowed here on the site, but before full construction can begin, Intel must first obtain a number of environmental permits. We'll focus on two from Ohio EPA, an isolated wetlands permit and an air permit. The isolated wetland permit, that's to cover the entire impacts of all the isolated wetlands currently on the site. Intel will need to obtain that permit before they impact those resources on the site. For the air permit, they need to obtain a permit to install before they can construct their facility, and Intel will have a one-year period to operate that facility before they need to apply for what's called a Title V air permit. Ohio EPA says there will be a public participation component of the permit process. You can see upcoming public meetings online by heading to epa.ohio.gov and scrolling down to the news and events sections. If you're interested in learning about public comment periods and hearings regarding Intel, you can contact Mary McCarran at mary.mccarran at epa.ohio.gov or call 614-644-2160 to be added to the agency's interested party list for this site. Once Intel obtains their, their permits, Ohio EPA follows up and does regular routine inspections of their facility. Ohio EPA is confident that our permits protect public health and the environment. That is our goal and mission at the agency, and our permits are designed to protect public health and the environment for these types of projects. While the Intel project will be different from anything the New Albany International Business Park has seen before, Ohio EPA says its experience working with other large developments in the business park will help to keep the community safe. Ohio EPA has issued permits for those other projects and ensured public health and the environment has been protected with our permits. Intel tells us that they're committed to building relationships with the community in New Albany, Licking County, and beyond. 
Intel shared with us that they plan to have a neighbor relations contact to help address any questions or concerns once construction begins. They also plan to have a community advisory board. We'll have more information about that as it becomes available on NewAlbanySiliconHeartland.com. And for more City of New Albany news and information, be sure to follow us on social media at New Albany, Ohio, and subscribe to our weekly Connects email by heading to NewAlbanyOhio.org slash subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on New Albany Connects.